This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT English Modifiers and Meaning question. It's asking us to look at this modifier, this much more, and decide, is it better than some of the other choices, or do we need it at all? So let's look at our sentence. It's telling us that this architect of the Capitol, this position, is in charge of structural and mechanical care of the Capitol building and making arrangements and all of these things that the paragraph goes on to tell us. So all about the architect of the Capitol's responsibilities here. So. Let's look at our choices and see what makes more sense. So our first three choices, we have much more, which is our original. We have more than, and we have quite a good deal more. All express the same idea that he's more in charge of something, but this is the beginning of our paragraph. And this is the first discussion we see in the passage of the, of the duties of the architect of the Capitol. So it doesn't really make much sense to say, well, the architect of the Capitol is much more in charge of the structural care than he is in charge of other areas because we don't see any discussion of that. So it would honestly make much more sense to just not even have anything like this, to just say the architect of the Capitol is in charge of structural and mechanical care of the United States Capitol building, and then go on to list all of his duties. We don't need to say that he's much more in charge of it because we have no comparative here. It's, we don't have any, any sort of van here that's telling us that he's more in charge of this area, the structural and mechanical area, then he is in charge of a different area. So because we don't have the context for that, all of these choices, which are pretty much the same, much more, more than, we don't need them. We're not comparing anything. So it's going to be best to just omit this portion altogether.